Ever wondered what powers the longevity giant, Dr. David Sinclair? His story begins in Australia, where he spent his early years. Born and raised in the vibrant city of Sydney, Dr. Sinclair was always a curious child, often found immersed in the mysteries that science books presented him. His childhood fascination with the natural world laid the foundation for his lifelong pursuit of knowledge. His interest in aging in particular sparked when he was just a young boy. He was captivated by the irreversible process of getting older and the physical changes it brought. He often pondered the question, why do we age? And why can't we stop it? This early fascination not only shaped his academic journey but also his career path. His upbringing in a country known for its scientific innovation and his innate curiosity fed his desire to delve deeper into the secrets of aging. From the land down under, a young boy's curiosity would lead him to become a leading figure in the field of longevity. As Sinclair grew older, his curiosity didn't wane. It fueled his academic pursuits. This thirst for knowledge led him to the University of New South Wales in Australia, where he earned his bachelor's degree in genetics and biochemistry. But Sinclair didn't stop there. His fascination with the complex world of genes pushed him to further his studies. He then moved halfway across the globe to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, a place that would become his second home. Here, he delved deeper into the realm of molecular genetics. His work at MIT was groundbreaking to say the least. He made significant discoveries, one of which was a family of genes known as sirtuins, that were found to play a critical role in aging. This monumental discovery sparked a new direction in his academic journey. Sinclair decided to dedicate his life to exploring the mysteries of aging. He pursued his doctorate at Harvard University, focusing on the role of sirtuins in aging and diseases. His PhD thesis was nothing short of revolutionary, adding a new chapter to the book of biology. Sinclair's academic journey wasn't just about collecting degrees. It was about pursuing the truth, challenging conventional wisdom, and making breakthroughs that could change the way we understand life and aging. And so, with a PhD under his belt, Sinclair set out to unravel the secrets of aging. Sinclair's insatiable thirst for answers led to the establishment of the Sinclair Lab, a beacon of innovation and discovery in the field of longevity research. This wasn't just a lab, it was a battleground where the forces of aging met their match. The Sinclair Lab, nestled within Harvard Medical School, is an epicenter of groundbreaking research. Here, Sinclair and his team delve into the intricacies of our biological clock, trying to unravel the mysteries of aging. They explore how our genes and lifestyle choices interact setting the pace for our aging process. The lab's accomplishments are numerous. They've made significant strides in understanding how certain molecules like nicotinamide mononucleotide or NMN can potentially boost our cells' energy levels, helping to slow down aging. They've also delved deep into the world of sirtuins, proteins that have been linked to extended lifespan in various organisms. Yet, it's not just about scientific discovery. The Sinclair Lab is a place of collaboration and education, nurturing the next generation of longevity researchers. Sinclair's passion for understanding and combating aging is contagious, inspiring his team to push the boundaries of what's known and what's possible. Their work is paving the way for a future where aging is no longer an inevitable decline, but rather a process that can be understood, managed, and even reversed. Armed with a dedicated team and cutting-edge technology, Sinclair was ready to take on the aging process. Now let's delve into Dr. Sinclair's personal lifestyle, starting with his diet and fasting routine. Dr. Sinclair's approach to diet is a fascinating blend of scientific understanding and personal practice. He follows a diet that is low in sugar and carbohydrates and high in vegetables, fruits, and healthy fats. This is not a spur-of-the-moment decision. Instead, it's based on his extensive research on how certain types of food impact our bodies at a cellular level. One key aspect of Sinclair's diet is the practice of intermittent fasting. He typically starts his day with a late breakfast or early lunch, and then doesn't eat again until dinner. This gives his body a significant break from processing food, a period known as fasting. But why fasting, you may wonder? Fasting has been linked to a plethora of health benefits, including improved metabolic health, increased longevity, and even protection against disease. It's thought that when we fast, our bodies switch from growth mode to repair mode. This switch is believed to trigger a process called autophagy, where our cells clean out damaged components and regenerate themselves. Moreover, Dr. Sinclair's research indicates that periods of hunger can actually be beneficial. It's thought that our bodies, when deprived of food, may kick into a survival mode that promotes cellular longevity. 
This is an area of ongoing research but the initial findings are indeed intriguing but it's not all about fasting and what Sinclair doesn't eat. What he does eat is equally important. He consumes a diet rich in nutrient-dense foods favoring those that are believed to promote cellular health and longevity. These include leafy greens, berries, nuts and seeds as well as healthy fats from sources like avocados and olive oil. In essence Sinclair's dietary approach is about more than just maintaining a healthy weight or looking good, it's about promoting overall health and longevity, and it's deeply rooted in his understanding of the biological mechanisms that drive aging. Sinclair's diet and fasting routine are not just random choices, they are informed by years of research and understanding of the human body. In addition to his diet, Dr. Sinclair relies on a few key supplements to support his pursuit of longevity. Let's delve into what these supplements are, their functions, and why he chooses to integrate them into his daily regimen. First on the list is NMN, or nicotinamide mononucleotide. This molecule plays a vital role in energy production within our cells. It's a precursor to NAD+, a coenzyme that our bodies need to power metabolic processes and repair DNA. By supplementing with NMN, Sinclair aims to boost his NAD plus levels, thereby enhancing cellular health and potentially slowing the aging process. Next is resveratrol, a plant compound often associated with the health benefits of red wine. Resveratrol is thought to activate certain proteins called sirtuins, which are linked to longevity. Sirtuins are believed to protect our cells from inflammation and oxidative stress, both of which contribute to aging. Sinclair incorporates resveratrol into his regimen with the hope of harnessing its potential anti-aging effects. The third supplement Sinclair takes is metformin. While it's traditionally used to manage type 2 diabetes, metformin is believed to have anti-aging benefits. It's thought to promote healthy aging by improving insulin sensitivity, reducing inflammation and promoting autophagy, the process by which our bodies clear out damaged cells to regenerate newer, healthier cells. It's important to note that Sinclair doesn't view these supplements as magic bullets for longevity. Instead, he considers them as part of a broader, comprehensive approach to health and longevity. They are tools that, when combined with a balanced diet, regular exercise and intermittent fasting, may help support our body's natural defenses against aging. Remember, everyone's body responds differently to supplements, and what works for Sinclair might not work for everyone. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any new supplement regimen. These supplements aren't magic pills, but they are part of Sinclair's comprehensive approach to longevity. One other aspect of Sinclair's lifestyle that raises eyebrows is his protein consumption, or rather, the lack thereof. You see, Sinclair doesn't subscribe to the common belief that more protein equals better health. Instead, he keeps his protein intake relatively low. The reason? It's all about a biological process called autophagy. Autophagy is a natural mechanism where your body cleans out damaged cells to regenerate newer, healthier ones. And here's where protein comes in. A high-protein diet can actually inhibit autophagy. By keeping his protein consumption at bay, Sinclair allows his body to engage in this natural rejuvenation process more frequently. Moreover, research suggests that a lower protein intake can lead to a longer lifespan. This is due to the decreased production of certain growth factors and hormones that may accelerate aging. It's clear that every aspect of Sinclair's lifestyle, right down to his protein consumption is geared towards maximizing his lifespan. So, what can we learn from Dr. Sinclair's lifestyle? From his early years to his academic journey, we've explored the life of Dr. David Sinclair, a pioneer in the field of aging and longevity. We've delved into his work at the Sinclair Lab, where he conducts groundbreaking research. We've looked at his diet, where intermittent fasting plays a crucial role. By eating within a specific time frame, he believes this practice can aid in cellular repair and boost longevity. We also touched on the supplements he includes in his regimen. NMN, resveratrol, and metformin, which he believes are key players in slowing down the aging process. Lastly, Sinclair's protein consumption, or rather the lack thereof, is an important part of his lifestyle. He maintains a low-protein diet, as he believes excessive protein can accelerate aging. Dr. Sinclair's lifestyle gives us a glimpse into the future of longevity, and it's a future we can all strive towards.